I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 331. Data import filter data types using inequality. It's broken. It's not working for me. I want to explain to you why it doesn't work and how you can fix it. I came across this one today at my uh, day job. Have a matrix here, data import matrix, that's going out to a database pulling in some information for us. And I have a couple of filters applied here at the data import level where I have a dispatch date equals 2022, and I have a dispatch date month greater than six. You can see here that uh, before I updated this uh, model, I can see that I have uh, months six, seven, eight, and nine here for my dispatch date and months. I also have my dispatch date year of 2022. Looks like it's working just fine. But if I go ahead and I update this, uh, truth be told, this is now the period of period 10 of 2022 when I'm making this video. And so you can see here that it looked like it updated. I can see that my numbers changed or they appeared to have changed. But the deal is, is I still don't see period 10 and I'm in period 10. I would expect to see values within period 10. So how would I debug this? Well, I would go to my data browser and I would select the database connection, which is database three here. I'd select the connection. I'd go ahead and create another data import because what I wanna do is I just wanna make sure that there's actually some dispatch dates in there for period 2010. I wanna make sure, or for period 10, I wanna make sure that it's not necessarily on the database side right? Because maybe my database isn't updating it correctly or, or something. So I want to make sure I remove that uh, from my troubleshooting. So what I do, again, I'd create a new data import matrix. I can do that very easily, right-clicking on my model brow data browser, as I showed you. But I'm going to go ahead in here and use the search and look for dispatch date. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do bring this in as a category. I'm going to bring in all values. And I just want to see, you know, is it really missing period 10's values for 2022? So I believe these are coming in sorted. And I can see if I scroll down to the bottom that, hey, I have period 10 in 2022. So why is it not coming in over here? Uh, it's a little puzzling to me. I think what happened is if I were to go ahead and delete this, right, and then I were to refresh it, I would then see... I believe period 10 coming in. But my question is, is why does deleting that work when, you know, greater than doesn't appear to work? Why does it go away? Why does period 10 go away? So if I, again, I bring this back in here and I say greater than, and I say period six, and I update this. Oh, sorry if I go ahead and update this then period 10 will disappear on me and I'm completely confused. Well, as I was looking through it, what I noticed is, is actually I have dispatch date month here. It's the same field as I drag over here, but I can see that my dispatch date month, it actually is not an integer. It is actually a text string, 6 June, 7 July, 8 August, 9 September. And what I'm putting in here is actually an integer. So. I don't have the same data types. I can confirm that by looking at my dispatch date over here in my data tree. And I can see that my dispatch date month is indeed, it's a text, but I'm using an inequality and treating it like it's an integer, wherein it is not. And for whatever reason, Quantrix is giving me some sort of results. And I guess just because this is period six, it looks like it's, it's generally working or it has worked up until this time, just to look at these periods. But now that I'm in period 10, it looks like it's not working. So that's a little bit curious to me why it would even work in the first place. But really the reason why it's not working is because this is a string data type and then I'm treating it like an integer. So in order to get this to work correctly, again, I think the simplest way would probably be to delete it, refresh it. And if I wanted to, I would then go ahead and just hide the columns for anything above period, uh, anything below period six. Okay, so again, I would go here and I would collapse these, right? Or another way that I could do this is if I were to go ahead and I were to undo this, I would probably change this from a greater than to be an in statement 
and then I would list out all of my months that it needs to be, you know, 6 June, 7 July, 8 August, 9 September, 10 October, and do that here in this string. So let me, instead of talking about it, show you what I mean. 7 July, 8 Aug, 9 Sep, 10 Oc. And if I were to go ahead and do that now with an in statement, I would believe I believe I would see it update. So one thing to note is it's updating here is to make sure that your data types are correct. And really, you can't do da text data types on inequalities, or you yeah, you can't do inequalities on text data types. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions about Quantrix or you're having any troubles with data import, I really hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com and ask me your questions. I really do. I love Quantrix, and I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by... Quantrixauthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.